Hey guys, thanks for checking out my video. Today I want to talk about the Sunlu Filla Dryer. Um, I'm not working for the company, they didn't send it to me for free, but this one was a product that I backed on the Kickstarter because I use their products all the time, like I liked a lot of their filaments, so I figured this could be a great accessory for those filaments. Um, and I've, it's kind of been sitting around and I haven't opened it up yet, or I haven't tested it out. But I feel like now is the perfect time because I had just been going through some failed prints and I thought, you know, why don't I use that Sunloom fill a dryer and see how it works. Um, so I guess I'll show you what the box looks like. You kind of load the filament in there and then you it warms it up and it kind of gets rid of all the moisture and all the uh, bad properties that can get, that happens when it's sitting around for a long time. Um, as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of filament that's just sitting there, and if I let it go for too long, then the filament kind of goes bad, like it gets pretty brittle. And I had that happen with one of the prints that I was going to do recently. I was going to try and pin, print in this pink filament, and it's something that this kind of color filament, I mean, it's kind of uh, a color that I don't use a whole lot. I don't print a whole bunch of hot pink stuff. I mainly print a lot of white and kind of gray prints so that it's just a clear, a clean base to print and paint off of. Um, but I had an idea for a pink model and when I loaded in this filament, uh, it would go for a little bit, but then, I don't know if you can tell, but it would just get so brittle just because this filament had been sitting out for so long. Let me see if I can get that to autofocus, there we go. Nope. Uh, yeah, so when this was printing on the printer, let's see. When this was going on the printer, it just snapped basically, and it would just get stuck right at a certain point on the print, and I was like, what is going on here? So I, it just came down to the conclusion that I left this sitting out for way too long, like a couple weeks, and then it just kinda went bad, so. My hope and my goal is like, you know, maybe this fill a dryer, fill a dryer will help with uh, the moisture problems or the brittleness and just get kind of that rejuvenation and see if it'll come back to life. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna open it up, test it out, see how it works, if it's worth the worth the buy or not. Um, you know, I've heard good reviews about it and. Like I said, I bought it on the Kickstarter, so I had some pretty good um, discount already. Um, but yeah, let's just check it out. Alright, so I let the Sunlu fill a dryer do its thing. I let it go for six hours at the 50 degrees Celsius to heat up this PLA filament. And now let's see if it did its job and I'm going to do another test print, see if the pink filament got restored its life and if it'll actually work this time. So we'll see. So now I'm in Rhino. I think I'm just gonna make a little 3D model of um, a paintbrush holder for this filament and see if it's gonna See how it turns out. I'll add some text and maybe fancy it up a little bit, but I don't know. We'll just see how it turns out. All right, so I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. Added some cool, a cool font to it, and uh, just see how it prints. I'm gonna slice it in the CraftBot XL software and uh, see how the new PLA works. So I've got it opened up in the Craftware slicer, and I think I'm just gonna do your standard print quality. I'll leave it high won't need any supports and I'm not going to get into the expert mode and kind of tweak any of these settings but so I'm just going to do a real basic one just for this test and it looks like it'll take three and a half hours to print so that's not too bad I'll send it to print now and we'll see how it turns out
All right, so the print finished, and sorry about the video recording with the time lapse. My GoPro camera died. The battery on it, I didn't realize, was so low when I started the print. But anyways, you guys get the idea. It works, and um, it came out pretty nice. I mean, granted, this was also with filament that, like I said before, it was basically dead. Like, I was about to just chuck it and throw it away in the garbage. Because every time I tried printing it before I had used the filament dryer, it would just get clogged and just snap off it was basically a filament that i left out way too long and after putting it through the filament dryer it actually really worked so i'm pretty happy because i've got a whole bunch of filament that i had left out too long and i'm glad that i can have a way to um, reuse that filament that i had just left sitting out um so yes yeah if you like either the uh, paintbrush holder that I made here. I'll leave a link to the description. It's uh, I'll leave it on my my mini factory profile page So you can check it out and also leave a link for the Sunlu filament dryer um, Again, I'm not I don't work for Sunlu. I bought it on Kickstarter, but I do have an affiliate affiliate account set up with them so if you check out that link in the description you can get discounts on uh, filament and the filament dryer things like that there's some kind of discount code by clicking that link but it doesn't cost any extra for you but you guys get discounts with it um, so yeah I guess if you like this video leave a like give it a subscribe and thanks again for watching